Hello my honey bears, Bree Bear here, back with another video. And today, we are going to be doing a farm with me. So, that means that if you don't already have your device out and Royal High open, you should pause the video and go do that right now because this is a farm with me. So, I want to be getting you guys motivated to farm. So, Go grab your device if you have Royal High and get ready to farm. All right, now that you should have your device, let's get started with today's video. So I will be doing farm with bees. I don't know how often I'll do them, but they are pretty fun. And it just puts some use to my farming <laughs> since I can't really make much out of a farming video, but this works. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing farm with bees and I'll just be sort of chilling and talking with you guys and there will also be usually a main discussion topic that I'll have, that I will have each time I do one of these videos. This was inspired by Little Kitten and It's Casey. I don't know anybody else who's made these types of videos. I'm sure there's other people that I'm just not aware of, but you know, that's all I know. But um, before we start, how are you guys doing? I know it's a pretty stressful time right now, and I just want to check in and see how you guys are doing, because it could be really chaotic and stressful right now. I know I'm pretty stressed, because I just switched from hybrid learning, which is sub in school and sub online, to full online, and our whole schedule has changed, and I have a buttload of homework so that's definitely pretty stressful and you know I'm having to deal with that and I'm trying to upload videos a lot so you know times are weird right now and it's pretty stressful so I think every day we just need to check in with ourselves take a little minute to just slow down and breathe and everything's gonna be okay and I'm not trying to sound like some like I don't know some like I don't, <laughs> you know what I mean, but like, just check in with yourselves and make sure you're doing okay. So if you haven't had anything to eat today, go get something to eat. If you haven't had any water, go get a glass of water. If you've been sitting on your computer all day, go and do a little run up and down your street. Just make sure you're staying healthy and caring about yourself, even though it's really stressful right now. All right. So, into today's main discussion topic, which is diamond accessibility. I said that wrong. Whatever. Let's get started. So, diamonds in Royal High are really interesting. So, let's talk about Royal High first. Royal High is definitely more of a kid's game. It's a princess fairy mermaid game. It's definitely targeted towards kids, just like the Roblox website is. Now, I know lots of people, more teens and some even adults play it, and I'm not saying that you can't play it, but I do think Royal High is definitely targeted towards younger audiences. And that's where diamonds are a little tricky, and I don't think it, I, it, I don't think it fully makes sense. Because with the trading update, Lots and lots of people have been farming for hours upon hours to get all these diamonds. I'm doing a farm with me video, guys. Like, I do it too. It's just everybody's farming for hours, getting to trading level, trading for all these huge items. There's tradery, a trading website. There's all this stuff for trading, and people are working so hard to get diamonds. Now, let's think. If this game is targeted towards kids... I don't think the likelihood of a seven-year-old kid who's playing this game to be a princess in roleplay, who also wants a skirt, she's not going to farm for like seven hours to get a skirt because little kids don't have that much attention span and they just want to play and have like fun and roleplay. But I mean, you can also want an item while roleplaying and say if she wants like the shadow empress skirt 
she's going to have to, first of all, work to level 75, then work and save up a buttload of diamonds just to get one skirt. But she just wants a fun skirt and wants to roleplay. Now, I'm not saying that all little kids will be like this. I'm not saying that she won't be able to do that. But I think it's sort of hard now. It takes a lot, a lot of effort to get diamonds. And not everybody is going to want to do that. And it just, this game that used to be a role play game has more turned into a get all the good items game. And me too. Like, I don't play this game to role play. I play this game to get every item. Like, I'm saving up to get every item. That's what I'm doing. I never role play, like, which I think is unfortunate, which is sort of why I make these videos to have, like, more fun challenges in this game because that brings back more of the fun element instead of the work super hard. So here's what I think about how accessible diamonds should be. I think definitely it should still be effort to get diamonds because then you feel more accomplished when you get diamonds or an item but i think we need to make diamonds easier to get because with the diamond doubler and the faster flight i get two thousand diamonds every 10 minutes yeah i get two thousand diamonds every 10 minutes so with no game passes i'll be about 500 diamonds every 10 minutes. Now, let's think Bloxburg. I get 10,000 at the very least in 10 minutes. And that's with a game pass too. So probably like anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 without game passes in 10 minutes. And without game passes in Royal High, I get 500. That's a big difference. That's like a thousand more in Bloxburg. So... That's very problematic, and I think, really, this a game is aimed towards kids, and if, without, if the kids can't pay for Robux, 500 every 10 minutes, if they want to get 2,000, that's 40 minutes. If they want to get 4,000, that's over an hour. That's almost an hour and a half to get 4,000 diamonds that can buy you a cheap skirt, no heels, a few accessories, that's or wigs. That's all you can buy with those 4,000 diamonds, which is just about an hour and a half, which that doesn't seem right. Like, you should be able to get items you want without working for, like, days upon days. And I personally don't mind it. I think farming's fun. I think it's a good, fun thing to do. But not everybody's going to think that way. And if they don't have the motivation to farm for days, they're not going to get items. That's like, and it shouldn't be that way. So I think that diamonds should be worth more. So maybe like the cheapest value of diamonds is 10 instead of 1. You know, so not a huge difference, but a change, you know. And maybe this was also Riley and Cookie helped me. Well, Riley and Cookie and I talked about this before, so I'm going to give them a shout out real quick and thank them for some of these ideas that I'm saying. But like, for example, we could have like interactive games to get diamonds because that brings the role play element back, which I think Royal High has pretty much lost. And it's also a fun way to get diamonds. So like maybe in the new campus, you could actually cook for people like for robots or at earth you could work at one of those shops or at fantasia i know you could get a job but it doesn't really do anything you don't get paid so at fantasia hotel you could actually get paid for like working there and i think that would be really fun and that would bring the role play element back and you would have something fun and interactive to do instead of just flying around mindlessly getting diamonds and I think more of the younger audiences would be willing to do that. And if they just gave you, like, I don't know, 10,000 for every game, maybe that's too much. I don't know. But if they gave you diamonds for every game, then that would be a fun way to get diamonds. Because I feel like either you role play or you farm. If you role play, you're probably not going to get a lot of items. And if you're farming to get a lot of items, you're probably not going to ever get to role play. So I think. 
if we had a fun game, that would be a balance in the middle. And also if we made diamonds higher prices, that would be helpful too. Now, I know everything I'm saying isn't going to affect anything. Barbie's not going to come watch this video and change her entire game. But that's just an idea because I think Roblox Royal High has lost sort of its fun roleplay element to trading and farming. So, yeah, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic, and I hope you guys got some good farming out of this. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. You could comment what topics you'd like to see next. And if I get good feedback on this video, I'll definitely be sure to make more. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, honey bears!